Hello students, uh, our next slides are uh, the structure of fungi. In this slide, we'll talk about uh, the structure of fungi, the hyphae, mycelium, types of hyphae and types of mycelium and uh, some other attributes of the structure of fungi. In structure of fungi, first, first of all, we'll talk about uh, fungal hyphae. Uh, these are actually these uh, thread-like uh, uh, chain, thread -like chains of uh, cells and uh, uh, these are uh, filaments, uh, thread-like filaments which are called hyphae and uh, these are actually threads of uh, cells uh, which are one cell thick, thick and uh, they have high uh, surface area to volume ratio and uh, these hyphae are involved in the absorption of water ions and nutrients and in the gaseous exchange uh, inside the body and they are also they are also uh, they are also responsible for the waste of the uh, dispose, uh, disposal of the uh, fungal wastes. So, what are uh, mycelia? Mycelia are actually uh, the group of hyphae uh, that has been uh, grown and uh, uh, branched. And uh, in other words, we can also uh, say the mycelium is an aggregation of uh, different hyphae. Uh, if we talk about uh, the types of mycelium, there are different types of mycelium. Uh, number one is primary uh, mycelium that is actually germinating store, uh, spore. Here you can see this uh, uh, primary mycelium. And in case of uh, secondary mycelium, you can uh, see this uh, dicaryotic hyphae. And uh, in case of tertiary mycelium, you can see uh, the extensive uh, bunch of uh, mycelium. Uh, that is extensively a uh, branched and uh, uh, look like a bunch of mycelium. Uh, that is actually the tertiary mycelium or extensive mycelium. If we talk about uh, the types of hyphae, there are mainly two types of uh, hyphae. Uh, number one is septate hyphae and two is aseptate hyphae. Uh, if we see the septate hyphae, you can see uh, these uh, uh, cross falls between the uh, uh, compartments and uh, these uh, their uh, protoplast is interrupted by these uh, compartments and uh, uh, septate hyphae are hyphae with more or less uh, regularly occurring, occurring uh, septa or septum uh, these are cross falls and aseptate hyphae do, do not have these cross falls and uh, they are not uh, septate. Uh, these are also known as sinocytic uh, hyphae and uh, they lack these septa or uh, cross falls uh, between the uh, septa. Uh, what is septum? Uh, septum is the cross fall or partition uh, which interrupts the protoplasm at various intervals and divides the hyphae uh, into various compartments. Uh, so, uh, these are main, mainly two types of uh, uh, hyphae, septate or aseptate hyphae. If we talk about uh, the penetration of fungi, uh, the fungi penetration uh, is mainly, uh, or growing of fungi into the host cells is of mainly two types, intercellular uh, fungi and intracellular fungi. In case of intercellular fungi, here you can see uh, the spores or cyst uh, grows into the, uh, into the episorium and uh, from episorium infection uh, hyphae are uh, germinated, uh, infection packs are uh, germinated and then uh, they move uh, between the cells. Here you can see uh, these uh, hyphae uh, move between the cells. Uh, this is why uh, they are called intercellular fungi and uh, phytophthora is very important example of intracellular fungi like uh, pathogen. So if we typically if we talk about intercellular fungi, the fungi in which mycelia or astoria grows intercellularly between the cells, host cells. Uh, and if we talk about intracellular uh, fungi, uh, the fungi in which mycelia or astoria grows uh, within the host cells, uh, the avascular mycorrhizal fungi are, are an example of these uh, intracellular uh, fungi. Uh, so, 
uh, here you can see they are uh, growing uh, inside the cells, within the cells. If we talk about uh, Hastoria, these are actually outgrowth of uh, somatic hyphae. Here you can see these uh, Hastoria, these are the outgrowth of uh, somatic hyphae, which act as the absorbing organ and they can also penetrate into the host cells as well. So what is spore? Uh, spore is the reproductive unit of fungi and uh, these are actually in other way we can also define the spore as uh, the manure simple propagating unit, unit uh, just like seed uh, but uh, that does not have uh, embryo and uh, this uh, spores uh, serve as uh, the reproduction uh, of fungi as well serving the reproduction of fungi. Aptisorium, uh, here you can see uh, this uh, spore is germinating into the uh, germinating tube and uh, that is uh, forming this aptisorium uh, that is uh, the swollen tip of uh, hyphae or uh, germ tube, uh, tube that uh, facilitates uh, the attachment and penetration of the fungi into the host cells. And uh, here you can see these uh, real-time uh, photographs of uh, uh, all these aptisorium spore and germ, germ tube. And uh, this is uh, the iridospore of uh, uh, rust of uh, wheat uh, that is germinating into the aptisorium. Uh, this is a germ tube and this is aptisorium and uh, this is involved in the attachment and penetration of uh, this uh, fungus into the uh, wheat. Uh, wheat cells. So how we can uh, uh, differentiate between Aprisorium and Astoria uh, as I have uh, defined before uh, the swollen tip of hyphae or germ tube uh, that uh, is involved in the facilitation of facilitation uh, of the attachment and penetration into the uh, host cells by the fungus uh, that is called Aprisorium and Hastoria, these are uh, the outgrowths of uh, somatic hyphae uh, that is involved in the uh, absorption of uh, water and nutrients from the host cells and that uh, can also penetrate into the host cells as well. Uh, what are conidiophores? Uh, conidiophores are the, the uh, uh, or the specialized hyphae uh, on which conidia are produced. Uh, so here you can see the uh, structure of these uh, conidia uh, for uh, this hyphae and this is specialized hyphae conidia for generating out of these hyphae and uh, that uh, is uh, bearing these conidia uh, on the upper surface on the top of the uh, top of the floating bodies. So these are actually fruiting bodies uh, uh, that uh, contains these uh, conidiophores, uh, conidia or conidiospores. Uh, what are uh, sporangium and uh, sporangiophores? Uh, sporangiophore is also uh, the specialized hyphae that bears the sporangium uh, at its tip. And uh, in other words, you can also say uh, that hyphae on which sporangium is produced is called sporangiophore. And what is sporangium? This is a sac-like, here you can see this is a sac-like uh, structure uh, in which entire protoplasmic material is converted into the spores. Here you can see uh, that is converted into the sporangiospores. So that uh, is actually uh, the some structural features of uh, the fungi. Uh, in next slides, we'll talk about uh, the nutrition in fungi. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.